So somebody uh, saw a video I'd done where I talk about overhead intensive businesses and they asked me to clarify what that meant. Well, overhead intensive business is simply the cost of opening the door in the morning before you get your first sale. So a good example, I used to own a health club and spa. It was a 15,000 square foot um, high street located fitness club. And uh, you know, you have uh, um, quite high rent, um, then there's uh, the government taxes as well, the, the, the real estate taxes, business rates as uh, they were called at the time um, that you have on top of there. Um, the insurance was crazy. I think we were paying £6,000, about $10,000 a month in insurance for you know someone injuring themselves or hurting themselves or, or whatever. Uh, you then have all the staffing now, you know, the, the health club and spa. Uh, industry tends to have quite long hours. We were open from 6 a.m. until 10 p.m. every day, slightly shorter hours on the Sunday, but yeah, really long hours. So you have to staff this place for that whole period of time. So you have all of these kind of fixed overheads that have to go out before you get the first sale. Now, the great thing about uh, that business is that it's a, a recurring revenue model. So every member that you sign up is paying you month in, month out. So you just have to get the membership volume right to cover that overhead but it's a hell of a run up to get there and in fact that's how I ended up owning the business because the guy who founded it spent 3.2 million fitting this place out I mean it was fitted out to a very high standard lovely wooden, wooden paneled locker rooms marble floors all around the reception area 180 pieces of um, techno gym equipment uh, you know sauna steam room jacuzzi like all of the wet area stuff was really uh, to, to a very high um, standard so they spent 3.2 million fitting it out and they had a three year run up to get to their thousand members, which they figured out was their break even uh, point. And they got to about 600 members and literally ran out of, uh, ran out of steam. And so uh, uh, we were able to pick the business up for nothing, for literally zero. In fact, we picked it up the next day. We collected the membership fees from the 600 members. So we were actually in front of the day that we took uh, control of that business but still you have that mountain to climb you have that overhead that you have to get through so just be aware when you're thinking about businesses to acquire think about uh, is this an overhead intensive business you know because there are so many businesses where you can you know you pretty much have no cost until you get a sale and then you have businesses like this health club and spa where you have an awful lot of cost before you can get a sale so what category does your target business fall into